Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to part two of my United States playthrough here in Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns. So I wanted to talk just for a minute here at the start of the episode about fuel. Uh, again, not in complete detail, but just so you all get a general idea of how this is working in case you don't already. And basically you need fuel for your air wings that are actually doing things. So for example, um, you know, we have an air force. We've got some in Virginia, we got some in California, we've got some in Louisiana. But if we actually go over here, uh, they're not actually doing anything, as you can see. We could have them do pilot exercises, and as the tooltip says, you will gain experience, but you'll also consume fuel, and there's an increased risk of air accidents. I've chosen not to do that because I don't think we really need a lot of air experience going into the war. Um, so, for wherever it is we end up doing, I don't think it's going to be a really big deal. So, that's why I haven't been doing the air exercises. Now, if you are low on air fuel, then you're going to have uh, issues with your planes, and they're probably going to start having accidents, and they're also going to be much less efficient. So, of course, you always want your planes to have fuel at all times. In this same vein, you want your Navy to uh, have plenty of fuel. Now, I, I don't think I really talked about it in the last episode, but I pulled out all of my heavy ships because they're going to uh, they're going to take penalties, and they could uh, have they're going to have yeah they're going to have penalties in their combat efficiency, but they could also get in accidents. They could potentially sink. Uh, also, this particular fleet has the USS Pennsylvania, which is our pride of the fleet. Uh, so this is essentially the flagship of your navy, and it's going to get uh, different bonuses. Now, for example, I, I believe the Pride of the Fleet can never sink when you're just doing a training exercise. Does it say it up here? Um, I think I saw that somewhere. I mean, was, did I read that in a diary? I don't remember. But, but uh, you get bonuses, but you're going to take a war support hit when it's sunk, just like how you get... I guess it's kind of an opposite of the where you create an ace in your air force. It'll give you war support. Instead, you're going to lose war support if it goes down. Uh, so I haven't checked what Japan's pride of the fleet is, but I would imagine it's one of their aircraft carriers so you can get your midway battle on, right? Um, now, they also eat up a lot of oil, so that's another reason why you don't really want to use these. Uh, oh yeah, and this is how you can uh, reassign who's your pride of the fleet. Hold on a sec, I got a meowing cat here. Oh, there you can read the bonuses real quick. Oh, there you go. Okay. So yeah, it's minus 10% war support if it's sunk. Pretty bad. Uh, now, what, what was I, uh, shoot, I'm so sorry. So, so, uh, then, of course, you have the things on land which are going to cost you fuel. So, for example, if we came over here to research and took a look at the tanks, say this tank, you'll notice they only cost a steel and chromium now because the oil is being used as fuel now. Um, so, uh, strategic redeployments, or I should say moving them around, I do not believe that that counts as using oil. I don't have any tank divisions, I'll test that out later, but I'm pretty sure they set it up for balancing reasons that just moving your tanks doesn't cost oil. Uh, and they always come with a little bit of supply, they always come with a little bit of oil with them, but uh, they can become cut off and that'll cause them to have penalties because they don't have oil, they can't move, or it's not that they can't move, but like they're not gonna be able to fight effectively. Uh, so, of course, if you're playing a country like Germany, that's probably going to be using tons of tanks. You need to have an oil supply constantly flowing. You also can uh, change the flu uh, fuel priority here, kind of like you would with uh, when you're building divisions. And this just lets you see what your stockpile is looking like. So, uh, I don't know how long I just talked about that for, but there you have it. Uh, let's get building some convoys. To do that with them for now until I think of something else to do. All right, what is this? A senator from Tennessee offers support. Ah, this is kind of an interesting one. 
The, sen the senior senator from Tennessee has approached the government with an offer of support. His state suffers from critical underinvestment, and a government-initiated economic stimulus program would certainly make him reconsider his stance on certain proposed government policies. The senator sits on several important committees and is quite famous for being able to cut deals, making his vote worth several more in both houses. So we could say it's a very underdeveloped region, and then we can get the decision to uh, invest in their economy, or we could say the smells of corruption. Uh, we are going to say that it is an underdeveloped region, and we, now we're going to get, where is it? Now we're going to have a limited amount of time, about a year, to invest in the economy of Tennessee. So if we build an additional civilian factory, we're going to get a big bump, a potentially big bump. Uh, uh, in support. Although if we don't do it, we're gonna lose it. Now it's only one civilian factory. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Let me double check. It was Tennessee, right? Okay. So let's go over here. I don't have any of my usual graphics mods on if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, so let's make that a top priority. This is gonna be done in November, right around Election Day. Ooh, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. So we can probably stack some nice bonuses there. Still tons of uh, other things that we can take. We're still just saving up though to get to that 250. Yeah, everything in my head is screaming at me, don't do it, don't do it, spend it somewhere else. But <gasps> wait a minute, speaking of spending it somewhere else, what do we have here? We can now give refuge to German scientists. This will lower our stability but increase our research speed by 3%. We can also give refuge to Italian scientists doing the same thing. Hmm, very interesting. Is this the game telling me to do something? Because I won't get a 10% bonus in Land Doctrine, but I'll get a 6% everywhere else. Of course, it's also going to cost me stability. You know what? Let's do it. We're just going to do it. Let's, give, let's grant refuge. Yeah. And then what I'll just do next is uh, improve the workers' conditions next, I think. Because it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Look, we're still getting 0 0.41 a day. It's very good. Now, where does it show... Where does it show that? I guess it would be over here. Yeah, refuge to Germans, reference to it, refuge to Italians. So I guess this is kind of good in the end, though, that even though it's gone non-historical, uh, even though things have not gone very ahistorical, um, we're going to be able to, to see how entertaining it is to just work on the, uh, the New Deal here. So as you can see, I still can't work on either of these on the Agricultural Adjustment Act uh, we need to do something about the representatives. Now, I don't think there's anything that specifically focuses on the representatives. Is there? Yeah, it's both. It works on both at the same time. So, should I just wait for the election? It's a little over two months away. I should probably do one more thing. I can suspend the per persecution. So this kind of gets interesting if I if I go suspend the persecution because I can then start to flirt with the commies a little bit. But that does not necessarily mean I go communist. So it it, it I'm not going to go into the detail of every single one of these, but there's basically things we can do that some of which require um communist support, some of which uh they just do different things and they get different bonuses. So for example, desegregating the armed forces, that's very radical. Uh, for the United States in this time period. Uh, but it's going to give us 2% recruitable population. Not that the United States needs a whole lot of recruitable population, but we we'll also need more than 10% support for the Communist Party. That doesn't mean we have to be communist. In fact, I think to go communist, we have to specifically take uh, democratic socialism, which also requires more than 35%. Uh, so, but like we could, we could potentially... Uh, say if we if we go here suspend the prosecution become a little bit communist desegregate the armed forces and then get rid of the communist advisor because it's not it's not a spirit it gives us an advisor who could do that uh, and then that's it we we never turn communist we never trigger a civil war that's my understanding of it but if on the other hand we went here union representation act uh, work is a core part of human life and organizing into a union is a fundamental part of organizing a democratic society is only proper that we should recognize this and ensure that unions have mandatory representation in Congress. So that's going to really lower stability, but we'll get a comfortable majority in Congress that'll always reset itself whenever there's an election, but we're probably going to start a civil war with the Silver Legion. Now, I don't think this guarantees it if I take it, but if I continue to go down here, it's surely about to happen. Uh, yeah, because by the time we get down here, there's reintegration. So at some point here, a civil war happens. Uh, 
I want to avoid that if I can. Also, I think this is interesting. You don't necessarily have to communist. Harry Truman could just be the leader. So, very late game, you could do this. Uh, I definitely do not want to do neutrality act. So, anyway, I'm supposed to take one more. I want to take one more thing. Reach out for the rare group. So, this is kind of cool. The reach out to the rare group. This will give me three possible um, uh, 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 leaders in the government who all cost nothing you will notice so we can get less consumer goods or higher production cap or a little more political power gain and stability that sure sounds tempting so i'm really wondering if we should suspend the persecution and do a little bit of that flirting i was talking about hmm oh can we join the com it looks like we can join the common turn even if we're not a uh, communist wow that's very interesting. Very interesting. It would have been more interesting if uh, the United Kingdom had gone fascist, but hey, maybe it still will happen. No, nope, no, nope, she's doing steady as she goes. So, no fascist UK. But maybe we'll still do it, just for fun. Join the common turn. Probably not, though. Anyway, I, I suppose then, in the meantime... Let's take something like War Department just to get ready for down the line when we got to do all this stuff. Yeah. This just increases my maximum command power. Not a really big deal at all because the war support's so bad. Nice! We just picked up a bunch of representatives! Okay, so that's 203. All right, yeah, that still wasn't enough to do this. I would have been very mad if I had just taken that focus. Although, actually, you can cancel focuses now, and it just saves your progress. So, yeah, it's actually not a big deal. So, you know, before they did that, because that's another thing that they're patching in, is uh, before, I would have been very pissed off if, say, I had rolled enough uh, representatives to get me to where I needed to be to work on the New Deal. I would have been very, very upset. But now, I would have just canceled it if that had happened and then, and then started that going. Um, hmm. We're going to... Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't even set up my army properly. Uh, guess can't go wrong with Dwight. Let's have Dwight, let's have, not Patton, we'll put Bradley here. Probably gonna make him a field marshal since it's his plan we're going after, right? No, we're not doing his plan, actually. Hmm. What? Can't build any more divisions until I fix this infantry equipment deficit. Support equipment one's even worse. Hmm. Okay, let's at least double what's in the support and then come down here. Artillery, I'm already maxed out on my cap. It's rough stuff. We're still only in 1936. Hmm. All right. Well, that also that probably means I shouldn't work on this industry stuff. So let's pick up radio because if I don't get it early, I never get it. And oh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Let's grab that artillery. Better artillery. We'll have the chance. Hmm. Submarine operations are also done. Senator is voting for a government proposal. We also grant some statehood here. This gives me cores as well as uh, another, another quick two senators whenever I feel I need it. Uh, I'm a little tempted to do some special measures here. Hmm. You know what, I think I will, and then it will just get it stacked on. So we need 15 more representatives in order to do the Agricultural Adjustment Act. I could just wait one month until the election, but I think I just want to do it now. The faster the better, right? How'd I do? 213, is that exactly what I needed? I forgot, I already, I just was looking and I forgot. Nope, that did not give it to me and I am very upset now. Uh, Shoot. Let's do a lobbying effort then. Damn, that was a bad roll. 
that sucks. But I guess it's gonna, you know, every bit counts, right? So what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna wait for a month. I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, let's accuse some political power. Not much, as you can see, because with the medium lobbying effort and stuff, even though we're not taking a focus, we're still only getting about half a political power point a day. Let's keep working on that. Probably should actually work on the uh, destroyers more than the submarines. Yeah. Um, all right, representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Oh, is that enough? Yes, it is. Oh, the limited intervention actually takes more representatives, but now we can take the Agricultural Adjustment Act because we just got that good roll. Our farmers have been particularly hard hit by the depression. We must ensure that the people who produce our food are not driven out of business by an unchecked market. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now we're gonna be cooking with gas. Uh, now, after that, because we're going to have time to kill, I want to do, I want to work on getting that limited intervention. And I'm also wondering how it's going to make it harder to mobilize my country. Uh, it probably shows up later. So, uh, the day of the presidential election has arrived. Incumbent Franklin Delano Roosevelt has already implemented several of the programs referred collectively to as the New Deal. Intended to take the U.S. out of the Great Depression, while many of the efforts have been popular, his plan to further extend the role and power of the government have been met with criticism from his opponent, Republican Alf Landon. Coming from the oil industry, Landon wants to see greater economic freedom, while Roosevelt and the Democratic Party want to expand Social Security and ensure economic stability. The election may be a close call, or a major victory for the Democrats. Probably means a close call with the Republicans squeaking by. It's, a, it's either going to be a blowout or it's going to be close. <laughs> All right, Republic, uh, let's see, okay, if we go Democrats four more years, we'll get the Spirit New Deal, which increases stability and infrastructure cons construction speed. It's increased by 20%, which we don't have right now. We do, even though, yeah, even though we're continuing the New Deal, we don't have the New Deal spirit. In the congressional elections, the faction supporting the government will face stronger opposition. Because you know, there's always that midterm backlash, right? Or the Republicans, we must safeguard the ideals of the American system. The momentum gained from the presidential election is likely to carry over to the congressional elections. Gives me 120 political power. Industrial research speed plus 5%. Gives me some synthetic resource stuff. And Alf Landon becomes leader for the Democratic Party. Which, I thought they would have fixed that by now. That maybe it would say Republican Party if they're in charge. But they are Democratic. Little d Democratic. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, we don't really need oil. Like, that political power is pretty sweet. Hmm. Oh, ideological drift defense plus 50%. Interesting, because that doesn't hurt me at all right now, If because I'm not trying to switch. Hmm. In the congressional elections, the faction supporting the government will face stronger opposition. The thing is, we kind of have a slight majority right now, so I want to build on that. But I feel like if I take the Republicans, it's gonna it's gonna slow me down for a minute. But in two years, I'll be okay. Now we gotta get out. We gotta get out of the. the we gotta get out now of the uh, of the. We gotta the, the depression. So we're going Democrats four more years. Plus, that gets back the stability I lost when I accepted those refugees. Uh, every two uh, elections to Congress every two years, a third of the Senate seats and all seats in the House of Representatives are up for election. While often overshadowed by world events, the local situation in each constituency can sometimes make the difference. After all the votes were counted, the faction in support of the government gained 14 seats in the Senate and gained 105 seats in the House. The people have spoken. Woo! Look at that. Wow. Also, how's that? Uh, uh, yeah, we're also about to finish that factory in Tennessee. So big momentum. We got the big mo here. Oh, uh, yeah. And the medium lobbying efforts about to finish up in 15 days. Yeah, we got almost no political power right now, but it's all about to pay off because we should then be able to immediately swing into limited intervention with plenty of wiggle room for any sort of weird events happening wait a second did this go up does it require more senators now did it did it need 58 before i remember it needed more representatives hmm 
Now this is this is gonna yeah this is gonna be good because once we do the limited intervention, we could potentially have up to eight senators and forty representatives who are gonna join the opposition against me. Uh, but with all of these things happening, all these bonuses we're getting right now in a really short period period of time, we're just gonna absorb that very easily, and that should allow us to take the then take the Fair Labor Standards Act, although we're not going to be able to go limited intervention, then the Fair Labor Standards Act. We're going to have to go do some other things first. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, not so much with the infantry equipment, though. It doesn't look too good yet. Look at all that support, especially in the house. Awesome. Oh, we're not on five speed? My bad. Okay, what's going on in the rest of the world? Oh, delay is done. Um, let's get keep spending this uh, naval equipment. Oh, yeah, we could spend it on this stuff. Depth charge thrower. Hmm. But let's work on here. I'm going to have a really, really good navy. Hmm. Okay, so we're still just getting 0 0.45 a day. But, yeah, you know what? I think it is going to have been a good idea in the end to do this. It looks like we're not going to quite finish this. And, no, we will. It'll still be, I think it'll be, what, like New Year's Eve when we uh, we finish this act? But it's going to go good. Hmm. Uh, okay. Hmm, okay, so do I want to get the Stuart? Yeah, because I, I want to, you know, try out this amphibious stuff at 1.2. So we're not, even though you guys know I'm a heavy tank guy, that's why I'm researching these light tanks. I'm probably just going to stick with the light tanks, not do mediums, and just have light and the uh, amphibious stuff. But I really want to get over here and involved in this war with Spain at least. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Senator speaks out against party. That's fine. Okay, Agriculture Adjustment Act done. Now immediately into limited intervention. It's going to hurt my stability a bit, too, but we've got plenty of wiggle room. We would need some seriously disastrous events to happen. Uh, all right. And we're in 37. Look at us go. We're getting construction. Getting all this good stuff. Awesome. Now, Japan should soon be making its play for China, and that's going to increase world tension. Now, we're at 70%. I think if I'm doing the math in my head correctly, minus 35%, tension limit, joint faction tension limit, guarantee tension limit. I think we're only going to need tension to be at 15% before we can start sending volunteers once everything gets changed. Yeah, 20% here, 23 here. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to be. So uh, once Japan goes into China, that'll be good. Also, what's happening down here? Like, what's Hungary up to? Strengthening the fascists. Representative criticizes president. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about yet. We're going to be okay. Uh, um, okay, undersea blockade is done. Let's keep going. Convoy interdiction. They're rolling right through the naval doctrine. See, if I feel that I'm getting short on the Senate support, we could also grab these. Uh, oh, we're just looking at the, the blue here. We're just sort of waiting. Come on with this infantry equipment, too, so I can actually start building an army. Uh. 
All right, we've got the refuge. I'm just trying to see if there's some, any other interesting decisions down here. Foreign influence, more stability and democracy for the Philippines. I don't think I really care about that, do I? Yeah, I don't think I would care. Maybe if I felt they could build up some sort of decent army, but okay, limited intervention is done, so we're still not able to take this. It's gonna take, uh, okay, it's gonna take 230 days. It's only been 70. So that's two more focuses to do before there. Uh, we could do war propaganda, gain base war support plus 10%, up to four senators and 20 representatives go into opposition. So that will not be enough, I think, to let me... No, yeah, it will. It will. That'll let me go into early mobilization at least, right? Which I usually like to jump as high as I can since it's just a flat 150 for all the economic laws, so I like to cheese it usually. I'll go from civilian to war economy with depending on who I'm playing. But... We really gotta get this, gotta get this ball rolling, you know? Also requires the support of a certain number of senators and representatives. Hmm. I'm not sure it's worth it. Lend-lease act, lend-lease tension limit minus 10%. It's no good to lend-lease to them if I don't have, uh... If I don't have the economy, I don't have enough economy to, to build my own army, much less lend lease to anybody. Hmm. Federal Housing Act. Yeah, I think once we're here, the Great Depression is gone. I think these are the three I need. End monarchism. I get a topple war goal government against the United Kingdom. Shatter the empires. Has not complete focus decolonization. Hmm. Seems like this just gives me goals on everybody, potentially, pretty much everybody. Get it on front. Like if Italy owns anything that's not a core, I automatically will get a goal on them. Same thing with Germany. This is where the uh, the proper clay becomes really important. But yeah, I got I got two more things to do. Planning speed. That I don't care. Production cost reduction is cool, but don't really care. This will put them in opposition. Hmm, don't like that. Bureau of Ships, though, is really sweet. Liberty Ships, Selective Training Act, Change Mobilization Law, Set Base War Support 10%. Hmm... Critical population 2%. Ooh, some real good tank stuff here. I like this. Hmm. So maybe while I've got all this support, I, although I'm a little bit short when it comes to the senators, I think I might do the Select Training Act and Two Ocean Navy right now. And then I'm not spending any other political power, so then I'll bring in those senators. Let's see, up to 40. Both says up to 40. I think I'll be fine. I'm, I'm going to need some decent rolls, though. Uh, let's set the base war support first. Yeah. It's been historically slow to adopt a draft. Even in times of war, we are no longer able to afford this luxury. Okay, let's do it. Uh, United States pursues interventionist policies. The peace movement in the United States has suffered a severe setback as Congress passed a joint resolution encouraging President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to use military force if necessary to safeguard American interests around the world. It appears that many in Congress have decided it was American indecisiveness that allowed the Great War to drag on for so long and consume so many lives. They point out within a few months of U.S. troops entering Europe. Um, wait. The Great War had come to an end, and earlier intervention, they argue, could have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Uh, uh, China declared war on communist China. Okay. Interesting. Oh, they're going to be able to take them. Could we have a united China over here? Wait, who are these people? Wang Ming and Wang Ji Wei? I don't remember this. I guess, uh... Oh, you know what must have happened? 
is uh, Chiang Kai-shek got killed. That must be what it is. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not super familiar with uh, with it. Senator retires. Oh, boy. I just lost a few of them. That's not good. That is not good at all. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. We need to... Hmm. We still have 63 in the Senate. Yeah, we're 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 still we're still gonna be all right. We still got plenty for the Fair Labor Standards Act. Yeah. Okay. Let me decide where I'm gonna put these fat. What I'm gonna do with these uh, factories, and then we'll go from there. I'm thinking. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I think we gotta get some military factories going. As fun as it is to do the other stuff, we've really gotta get some of the something happening here. Okay, but I think that is enough for today. In the next episode, let's see, we've only got a few more days to go on the infantry equipment. Uh, like a couple months to go. About four months for the support equipment, but we'll soon have an excess of infantry equipment, and we can start doing some more stuff with that. Uh, yeah, we're going to get some more support up. We're probably going to change the mobilization laws here soon. Getting dispersed industry up and running. Nice! Representative just spoke out in support of us. So we're at 63 over 96 and 346 over 435. Very, very good. Do I want to... Oh, do I dare improve the workers' conditions then? Our stability is starting to drop pretty quick. A little less factory output, a little more consumer good factories. Yeah, you know what? I think that's fine. Let's do that. Okay. And in the next episode, we'll also continue to work on getting rid of the the uh, the, the Great Depression. And this is also is going to take 230 days. I think these are the only three that are going to need to be done. Yeah, because, well, technically the Great Depression is, is kind of a way we're already on, what is it, slow growth, slow recovery. Okay, but thank you for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you in the next one. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.